Hello, my dear students. My name is Himal Handu, and today I shall be with you for Class Eleven English Core from the NCERT textbook Snapshots. This is Part One of the explanation of the Chapter One, The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse, written by William Saroyan. Today we shall discuss the following. Firstly, a little about the author himself. Secondly, the theme of the story. Thirdly, what message the story gives us. And then we shall also go on to discuss the main characters in this story. which will be followed by a brief summary of the story and with explanation of the difficult words in context so if you are ready students let's now get your textbooks out and turn to chapter 1 of the snapshots the story being the summer of the beautiful white horse william saroyan was an american author who wrote many plays and short stories about growing up impoverished as the son of armenian immigrants these stories were popular and he grew up writing under the face of an immigrant as a refugee and his stories are very popular so much so that he was awarded the pulitzer prize for drama in the year 1940 and later in the year 1943 he went on to win the academy award for the best story for the film adaptation of the novel the human comedy students I suggest in your free time do go through this story of his. Now we shall go on to the theme of the story. The main theme of the story of the narrative is the inevitability of change that challenges all of us actually that challenges traditions and long established beliefs the garoglanian tribe about which he speaks in the story was always known for its honesty and truth and still the older generations of this tribe uphold their trademark honesty and truthfulness let's now go to the third point which i said i would discuss with you and that is what message does the story give us the summer of the beautiful white horse conveys a very strong message of honesty and integrity as you will come to know while we go through the story the children did not steal anything even though they were very poor so there is a message for all of us from this story as well that whatever the circumstances be we should uphold our own individual honesty and integrity sometimes of the family as well in the indian context so they never took advantage of any of these and the family that they belonged to was famous for these now let us go to the main characters in this story there are two main characters in this story one is aram and the other is murad we also have here in the story a character called uncle khusro and we will get to hear about a farmer here in the story called john byro 
while we go through the story there will be a mention of some more characters though they are not the main ones now let's give you a small brief about the story itself the summer of the beautiful white horse so this wonderful story is actually an adventure and i know you all love adventure stories it's an adventure a story of two tribal armenian boys who belonged to the garogalenian tribe for their family even in times of extreme poverty nothing could match the importance of honesty they never did anything wrong and never lied or never even stole anything now that's a wonderful thing don't you think so the story talks about an incident that revolves around two cousins aram who is 9 years old and murad who is 13 the world for aram at that time seemed to be a delightful and extremely joyous yet mysterious dream people believed in every imaginable kind of magnificence murad was considered to be crazy by everybody he knew so the story opens with murad coming to aram's house at 4 am in the morning he taps on the window to aram's room when aram looks out of the window he's quite taken aback to see his cousin murad riding a beautiful white horse in fact he is so dazed that murad had to say yes it is a horse you are not dreaming all this was too unbelievable because aram knew that they were too poor to be able to afford to buy a horse the only way murad could possess it could be by stealing they were too honest to lie and yet too crazy to ride a horse so these two boys kept the horse for two weeks and they enjoyed riding in the cool air and singing to their hearts content on the country roads they hid it from the rest of the world by keeping it in a barn of the deserted vineyard meanwhile aram came to know that the horse was stolen from john byro they planned not to return it to him so soon although it pricked their conscience to steal which was completely not their ethics and tribal norms anyway one fine day they came across john the farmer such was the boy's family famous for their honesty and integrity that the thought of his horse being stolen by the boys never crossed john's mind he was just amazed at the resemblance and said i would swear it is my horse if i did not know your parents this moving experience led the boys towards john's vineyard the very next morning they left the horse in the barn and patting it affectionately let go of their dear horse later that day john seemed to be very pleased and shared the news of the return of his horse with aram's mother so the story children teaches us the importance and the necessity of honesty even in the face of greed and passion that's a small brief about the story okay let's now continue let's see if we have a few difficult words in the beginning so if you go through the lines on your textbook we have 
Murad, who was considered crazy by everybody here, crazy is obviously, I'm sure you all understand, that's not very sensible. And then we go on to a word here. I stuck my head out of the window. Did you get that line towards the bottom of the page? This is Adam bringing his head out of the window in astonishment to see a white horse just standing outside. Let's turn the page over now. On the second page, the line goes like this. In the first place, my earliest memories had been memories of horses and my first longings had been longings to ride. So the word longings here refers to his probably dream, his desire to have a horse ride. So all of us have longings for something. You long for something. You desire to do something. And here it is Adam's longing to have a ride on the horse. I shall end today's session with the next paragraph wherein we have two difficult words probably for you. The para begins, we were poor, we had no money, our whole tribe was poverty stricken. Poverty stricken is poor, very poor in fact. Every branch of the Garagalinian family was living in the most amazing and comical poverty in the world. The most amazing, amazing is surprisingly very poor and comical. Comical poverty he is referring to the manner in which it looks so amusing that even in their poverty they found happiness as you will see in the next few lines. So their poverty had an amazing and comical touch to it. We will close today's session based on this paragraph and I am hoping that all of you will come tomorrow for the next session, but you would have read at least page three and four as well. As well. As well. As well.